What the fuck is up, guys? It's the BYT back from our video. This is gonna be my raw review for uh, my. F this is actually my first ever raw review I've ever done, and I gotta say this raw fucking sucked. This was horrible. This was boring, and um, yeah, well, let's get started. And the reason why I just decided to do it, you know, just to try it, you know, what the hell, you know, um. So it, it keeps my my fans um, updated on how I feel about the current product. You know I don't like it, but this is just a little like you get a little taste and how I actually feel about each segment that's going on on Raw. So this Raw was an atrocious show, so boring. You had so many matches with no story, with no stakes pointless matches first of all we open raw we start off with a roman we start off with a martin luther king video package my brother was like you know this is a wrestling show why do we have that you know that's a pass you know it's martin luther king day whatever i don't really care um roman reigns comes out shows a oh roman reigns comes out right you hear the music it's like -na 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 -na, and then you see a fan with a sign, Roman, will you marry me? Okay, so the me the camera immediately films that sign. This is supposed to be a guy we're supposed to look at as a badass. Why would you... Would you, back in the day, would you have an Attitude Era fan say, Steve Austin, will you marry me? It's like, it just looks so fucking... It looks stupid. It, it just looks dumb, gay... You know, it just looks awful. It, it makes the presentation just look bad. Um, then we, and then it shows a replay of Brock Lesnar for some reason beating up everybody last week because that's all Raw is nowadays. All they do is just so show, show recaps because they never, um, you know, Roman cuts a promo about last week says the. Ex says things we already know is like I will be entering the Royal Rumble match and I will be defending this against 29 other men you know we already know this uh, can you say something else your promo is boring and he says it without any charisma so it's just I'm defending this title you know it just sounds so stupid um and Chris Jericho comes out, so we after that boring promo, Chris Jericho comes out, he cuts another boring promo, he wasn't funny, Jericho for some reason nowadays, he has to be really G-rated with his antics, um, basically just cuts a promo about the highlight reel with Brock Lesnar, which, Brock Lesnar, we got a total of like three minutes of him on the screen, the League of Nations comes out, Sheamus cuts a boring promo, and then Alberto Del Rio cuts a boring promo, then Rusev cuts a boring promo about talking about throwing kids off the bus and eating steaks. Like, are you are you fucking kidding me? This is a wrestling show. Why are you talking about this? It doesn't make you look tough. It makes you look like a fool. For you to sit there and actually trying to make the audience believe that Rusev used to throw kids off the bus. It just makes it stupid. It makes it look unbelievable. Um, so, great way to start off Raw. You have 50 promos that don't amount to anything. Well, actually it did, because Jericho, for some reason, has booking power and sets up a match between Rusev and Roman Reigns, which we've seen numerous times. Two boring wrestlers horrible it's just their matches are so boring it's the same re rest holds you know the spear at the end and of course roman reigns uh, lost yeah um so we get that boring match it sucked Roos roman reigns wins you know of course he never loses you can't you know throw us a little uh a curveball here and there you always got to make this motherfucker win and then shows then another commercial, and there was 50,000 commercials on this show. It was ridiculous. Um, so then we get Stephanie and Chris Jericho backstage. Um, 
just talking about nothing really that ma that matters. You know, I didn't, I don't remember what they were saying. But Stephanie is just way too dominant on this show. I know she's in the authority role, but back then when McMahon was in the authority role, he used to get his ass kicked once in a while. It was Stephanie. She's just so controlling. It's like nobody ever, can ever say anything back to her. It's it's another this feminist bullshit that we're in and nowadays it's just ridiculous um then we got Natalia versus Brie Bella the match is like a minute long and uh Natalia gets the win I don't know if Brie Bella's a face I don't I don't know what's going on here why is Natalia is Nat why are the two faces fighting I don't get it Wait, Brie... Did Brie win? Um, I don't think she won. Um, for some reason I had Brie won, but Natalia won, I thought. This match led to nothing, um, so it was pointless. They show the rumble... Um, the... Oh. I can't even read this. Oh, they show the rumble tumbler, like they're gonna do something, and like it just ends. Like and then they cut the commercial. So I was excited for that, and then later in the show they just had a stupid fucking segment, horrible segment. Then we got Dudley Boys and Ryback versus Luke, Luke Harper, Eric Rowan, and Braun Strowman. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Another, like, 15-minute match. This does not need to be happening. Why is there so many matches? I really, I literally counted nine matches, I think, for tonight's show. They're just boring matches that don't lead to anything and have no story. And this is, like, the hundredth time that we've seen these guys fight. Nobody wants to see it. This is why you lose ratings. Um... Lyatt's win, boring match. Of course, you don't have Bray Wyatt in, so you actually make him look strong, the leader of the faction. You just have the jobbers win. I mean, they're all technically jobbers, but Big Show versus Heath Slater. Is this really necessary? Why do we need Big Show versus Heath Slater? Um, I guess Big Show's a face now. The promo Heath Slater cut was funny before the match. That was probably the most entertaining thing of the night, honestly. Um, Vince McMahon and Stephanie draw Roman Reigns number one, which we've never seen that before. <coughs> Stone Cold. Um, literally, it was so stupid, they couldn't even open the things, you know, to, like, get Roman Reigns' name out. It just looks so stupid. And since when did they put the names on the piece of paper? It's supposed to be the numbers. Like, it's just, the logic is just mind-numbing... <laughs> How are the wrestlers supposed to keep track and what number they are? I don't get it. They just pick their name. They don't know how many people went before them. It's 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 just really stupid. I mean, there's no logic in this. Back then, they were drawing the number for Stone Cold. No, for some reason, every single piece of paper at Roman Reigns, it just rains on it. It's just stupid not drawing the person for the number um Becky Lynch versus Tamina Tamina um another Divas match nobody cares about the Divas Becky wins boring match um she cuts a promo and Ric Flair and her have a pretty decent exchange I'll give it that but whatever it was all right. The segment sucked. I mean, the the match sucked, but the set the promo after it was decent. Um, Kalisto and Dean Ambrose versus Sheamus and Alberto Del Rio. For some reason, Kalisto, since he won the U.S. title, is with like the the upper tier of the card. Uh, I guess anybody can do that nowadays. Um, Kevin Owens is on commentary. He was funny. He was bashing Cole the whole time, which I find pretty funny. Sheamus and Alberto Del Rio got the win after 
He does the brogue kick on Kalisto, which was another boring match. And I that's one of my least favorite moves of all time, the brogue kick. Um, New Day segment, um, mildly entertaining. Um, the hit. You notice... Alright, I used to be one of those guys I was brainwashed by Bruce Blitz thinking the wrestling is the most important thing about the wrestling show hence why I was a fan of Daniel Bryan, Dolph Ziggler, all those midgets like in CM Punk but I've learned from watching the Smart Busters it's about the unique complex characters not the wrestling not the technical wrestling aspect of the show because you've seen we've seen so many matches on this show, and I was bored with all of them, and the segments I found a little bit entertaining, more entertaining than the matches, so I mean, and I'm not one of those guys that looks up AJ Styles matches on YouTube, you know, I'm not, I don't look up those kinds of matches just to see technical wrestling, I like stories, I like characters, not just the wrestling part, so yeah, there'll be a part two to this, see you guys later.